So in this problem, we're told to find f, use c for the constant of the first antiderivative, and d for the constant of the second antiderivative. And we're given this function. f double prime of x is equal to 3 over 4 times x to the 3 over 4. So what you should know about this is if you have like f double prime of x, which just basically means the second derivative of this function f of x, if you take the antiderivative of it, it's just going to become the first derivative of f of x. And then if you take the antiderivative of this, it's going to become f of x. So it just lowers the degree of the derivative. So in order to find the antiderivative of this function, we just have to, or in order to find f of x, what we got to do is just take the antiderivative of this function twice. So let's just go ahead and do that. So first off, what we have to find is f prime of x. So we do that by finding the antiderivative of our function. So what is the antiderivative of 3 over 4 times x to the 3 over 4? So the antiderivative of this is going to be 3 over 4 times the antiderivative of x to the 3 over 4. We want to find the antiderivative of x to the 3 over 4. It's going to be equal to x. Then we add 1. So 3 over 4 plus 1 is going to be 7 over 4. Then we divide by our new exponent. So divide by 7 over 4. So it's going to become 4 over 7 times x to the 7 over 4. But we're not done. we got to multiply by 3 over 4. So if we multiply this by 3 over 4, so 3 over 4 times 4 over 7, that's going to be 12 over 28. Uh, 12 over 28 times x to the 7 over 4. Then we can simplify this. So this will simplify to, if we divide both by 4, we'll get 3 over 7 times x to the 7 over 4. And then, so, if we write this here, 3 over 7 times x to the 7 over 4. But then, whenever we take the antiderivative of something, we always have to add um, the constant. So we have to add plus c, and we're told to use uh, c for the constant of the first antiderivative. So this is going to be the first part. And then we need to find the antiderivative of this to get our answer. So what is the antiderivative of 3, uh, 3 over 7 times x to the 7 over 4? So let's find the antiderivative of x to the 7 over 4 first. So that's going to be x to the 11 over 4 because we add um, we add 1 to this. So x to the 11 over 4, and then we divide by 11 over 4. And so when we do that, this is going to become 4 over 11 times x to the 11 over 4. And then we multiply this by 3 over 7. Go ahead and do that. We're going to get 3 times 4 is 12 over 77 and times x to the 11 over 4. So we have 12 over 77 to x to the 11 over 4. And then we're taking the derivative of c, which c is basically a constant, right? So whenever you take the antiderivative of a constant, add an x to it, or just whatever variable. So the antiderivative of c is just going to be plus cx. Then, you know whenever you take the antiderivative of something, you have to add a constant to it. And so they tell us that we use d for the constant of the second one. So what we're going to do is add plus d. So this is going to be the answer to this question. So 12 over 77 times x to the 11 over 4 plus cx plus d.